Good morning, everyone. It's our immense pleasure to have with us uh, Dr. Uh, Prasanjit Mali, sir, is an assistant professor, uh, Department of Aquatic Animal Health, Faculty of Fishery Sciences, West Bengal University of Animal and Fishery Sciences, Kolkata. And the uh, topic chosen for deliberation is aqua application of bioflock for sustainable aquaculture. Sir, your uh, audible and your presentation is also visible. Uh, please start. Sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, a very, very good, uh, good, good morning to everyone. Uh, myself, Mr. Sunjit Malis, I already introduced me. Uh, so, first of all, I, hello. Can you hear me? Am I audible? Yes, uh, yes sir. Yes, sir. Please turn off your microphone. Okay. Mm. Uh, please, first of all, I, hello. Please continue. Uh, first of all, I want to give my heartiest uh, thanks to the organizer for giving me permission to be here both as a participant and uh, as an invited lecture. So my ascent topic is uh, to my ascent topic is application of biofloc uh, for sustainable aquaculture. So uh, biofloc is a very common it's, a, it's, it's not a new technology for us at present. So you know that it is the technology used to of the system limited or few water exchange water uh, exchange at a high stock density uh, with strong aeration and biota from by biofloc. So this is the definition of biofloc. So everybody knows what is biofloc actually. Yeah? Uh, in fact, uh, in last Monday, we attended a uh, waterproof session uh, of, uh, on biofloc technology. So that's why today I decided that um, uh, today I will uh, put more emphasis on the practical aspect of biofloc technology. That how have to uh, actually how have to do the biofloc biofloc culture uh, in field uh, and uh, what do, how we construct a biofloc tank. And what will be the uh, stocking density? Uh, what will be the uh, how we treat the uh, biofloc pieces? And what will be the suitable pieces uh, for biofloc technology? So today I have decided to put more emphasis on the practical aspect of biofloc technology. As we know that um, uh, biofloc is getting importance day by day because, uh, especially after this post uh, COVID situation, uh, when the number of uh, unemployed increase increasing day by day. So my uh, first, uh, first I want to put uh, emphasis on the importance of biofloc technology. Why we go for biofloc technology? So first, most important that is rapid urbanization. We you know that due to rapid urbanization, availability of corn or for fish culture increasing day by day. The demand of these has stayed for the first, uh, first and most important. Thing. And number two, that is the reduced fees in the that huge feed was in fish farming, which is about 70 80 percent of the number of feed, even the fish, many of not as a said, that is a very common problem for uh, in this case. Number two, number three is the toxic risk The toxic risk is that it will get the water quality. And number four is intensification. There is a request uh, from the participants that your voice is not that much clear. Uh, can you uh, are you delivering from outside or because there is some background uh, noise coming up? Okay, okay, sir, sure, sure, sure. sir. Can you can you uh, come to an environment where uh, the uh, 
noise level okay, is dropped and we can hear you more clearly okay sure sir 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 or use a external mic microphone if that is possible or okay, sure, something sir. like that please continue keep the presentation as is uh, so that we will be there sir over there now it is okay sir you have increased so now it is your okay. own volume you have, you have increased your volume but you need to increase the microphone volume volume into the can you click on the sound icon again right here yes, down uh, down below down below click the sound icon hello can you move your mouse to the system yes, tray where you have sound icon sir it, now it is okay yeah it is much better it much better okay so can i continue sir yeah yeah, like yeah. Okay. yeah please start the slide show again okay sir okay okay sir so uh, so keeping all this mind we can say uh, we can identify it is a sustained echo culture because means sustained echo culture is the cultivation of echo to for commercial purposes by means that have a good natural impact on the environment contribute to local social economy community development and also to generate an economic profit now in other words echo technology echo technology also known as the activated suspension technology or as Why it is called AST? Because it is an uh, because it needs constant aeration and agitation to allow aerobic decomposition and maintain high level of microbial growth in suspension in feed system. Now, what is byproduct? Now, <laughs> byproduct is nothing but a heterogeneous macro aggregate mixture of suspended material in water, which constitutes a group of flock-forming microorganisms, including bacteria, diatoms, filamentous microalgae. Micro and macro invertebrates, protozoa, zooplankton, then extracellular polymers, so many different fecal matters, even uneaten food also. So, it is mainly formed by the metabolism of the heterotrophic bacteria. The heterotrophic bacteria plays a major role in the biological systems uh, by consuming the organic carbon and nitrogen. So, uh, basic principle on uh, in this uh, in this biological technology is the reduction of the waste and its conversion to the byproduct as a natural food within the Is the justice. So here is a um, most common diagram of biological technology that is uh, you can easily understand by this by seeing this. That in biological in biological culture there is no water exchange or very less water exchange for accumulation of organic waste in there. And uh, fish eat biofloc. It is it is it is recycled and water quality has been controlled in the tank. Now. The role of microorganisms in biotechnology. What is the basic role of the microorganisms in biotechnology? So, in in all aquatic ecosystem, uh, both uh, all heterotrophs, autotrophs, and nitrogen and denitrogen bacteria, bacteria, and most common heterotrophs are the groups of microorganisms, especially small and bacteria that uses organic carbon as food. And these heterotrophic bacteria take the sugars they need to survive and it produces from their environment. Whereas autotrophs are the organisms that can produce their own food using material from inner resources. And autotrophic bacteria uh, they produce their own sugars for carbon, from carbon and hydrogen. And third one is nitrogen and denitrogen bacteria. These nitrogen bacteria convert ammonia into nitrite, and then nitrate. And this process is called nitrification. And denitrification bacteria use nitrate as a means of oxidizing again their energy source. So, uh, like all, uh, there, there is a similarity between uh, normal uh, normal plant culture and biotic culture. That is. That any fish culture system, waste from food, fecals, and urine concentration induce ammonia, nitrate, and nitrate, ammonia, nitrate, and nitrate. That affect water quality and fish. So this is the most common problem for all uh, aquatic system, uh, including biotic culture. But the major difference uh, of one uh, culture system and biotic culture system is that in one culture system, the common nitrogen bacteria, that is nitrosomonas, convert ammonia to nitrate, and the bacteria nitrobacter, the convert nitrate. And further, that we like see the monas then act over back to the bond and nitrate to gases. This is the uh, this is the uh, uh, phenomenon is a common aquatic system. But in case of uh, biofuel system, uh, the presence of fewer aeration with added carbon sources multiply the bacterial problem rapidly. And uh, <coughs> added carbon sources with the presence of ammonium and nitrogen in the tank trigger the growth of heterotrophic bacteria, which is applied to the probiotic. So this is the major difference between. Uh, common, uh, common, uh, is consuming the flock 
at hence in the biopsy system the microorganism is recycled so here is the nutritional composition of biopsy see that uh, size of the biopsy generally varies from 200 microns uh, microns and the average uh, protein level is 50 to 20% and when the flock size is uh, almost 100 microns then the protein content increases it is it become 30 to 38% and by this biopsy is also enriched with good amount of minerals uh, you can see that it is very very rich in potassium magnesium and iron and there is a great amount of zinc sodium calcium and phosphorus also there. so um, uh, we can say that biopsy is a good source of biopsy is a good source of nutrient now control of irregular pattern is the most uh, important uh, chapter of this the inorganic nitrogen in aquaculture system can be controlled by the addition of carbohydrate. That is, the carbon or carbohydrate is the same. Is the, uh, the added carbohydrate induces the feeding of bacteria and uptake of nitrogen from the water of the plant. Okay. And the key sources of carbohydrate, like molasses, jaggery, you will find, you will find plenty of uh, paper on uses of different carbon sources for biotechnology. And you will find Hello? Hello? Hello, sir. Hello? Is he audible? No, no, he is not audible. No, sir. I think there is some issue in the connectivity, I guess. This thing happens mostly when people have low speed in connection, mostly. Yeah, I think I think Sir, uh, you are not audible. Can you say something? Uh, yes, sir. Am I audible now, sir? At present? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, sir. I know what actually duty, sir. Can, you, uh, uh, can you also be a bit louder? Why? Because you have increased the, only the sound which you hear rather than us. You need to click on the microphone. Uh, sorry, this... Uh, Sound and go to the microphone setting and increase gain so that uh, okay, okay, sir. it will be louder to people rather than to you. Okay, okay, sir. Let me guide you through. Can you click on the sound like, uh, yeah, right click, right click on the sound, right click. This is uh, right click on the sound. Sound, no, 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 speaker, right click on, yeah. Go to the recording devices. Recording. Headset. Since you are using headset or micro, go to microphone or you can configure it. Configure. Same, you could, there was a configuration button. Right click, right click on the same speaker. Speaker, you can click right click. Yeah, go to the play, uh, sound uh, recording devices. Recordings, uh. recording. Recording Hello? devices. Ah, recording devices, sir. Sir, where I will take, sir? Yeah, click on it. There's a delay. I don't get. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's loading. Just a second. Can you click on the sir, microphone? Uh, let me stop the. Uh, no, no, no. Sir, just, just click on the microphone. Yare. Yes. Sir, you follow me, na? I'll help you, na? I, I'm here to help. Yes, sir. Follow the, the steps. You just, you are cl closing it. Recording okay, devices. Recording devices. Yeah, uh, just let let it load. Uh, let it load. For me, it loads a bit later on. Then, sir. Click on the mic microphone. Microphone, you see, na? Usi pe upar aapko dikhai de raha na, sir. Isi dibbe mein the dialog shows microphone. Click on it, and there would be at the bottom left corner pe configure hoga. Headphone pe click kijiye. Microphone pe, microphone pe. Nahi, udhar hi microphone hai na, sir. Hello? Hello? Yeah, microphone is showing you, sir. Hello? Hello? Click on microphone, dear, only na? in the same box you have microphone, don't close it. Hello? Hello? Yeah, sir. Now it visual. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't close now. Why are you closing? Uh, sir, uh, sir I, I put up my Bluetooth connection, sir. Actually, the, the problem is coming from Bluetooth connection. That's why I, I stopped this one. Okay, please continue then. Okay, now is now it is. Am I audible now, sir? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Now I'm now I'm talking directly through the speaker, sir. Much better. That would be much better. Can okay, you okay. maximize the presentation? Start, start the slide. Yes, sir. I maximize. Now it is. Sir. Now it is very clear, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Now the uh, the most common problem, the most common important thing in agriculture is the control of organic uh, nitrogen. That addition of the carbon and carbohydrate. So uh, generally, molasses is the most common carbon sources which which generally used in the agriculture system. Sir, sir, keep in PowerPoint mode. Sir. Oh, okay, sir. Now it is okay? Okay. okay. Absolutely okay, sir. Okay, sir. So, so molasses is the most common uh, carbon source which is generally used uh, in biofuel culture system. And the most uh, desirable CN ratio, that is the carbon nitrogen ratio, is 10, uh, is 10 to 20. So how you calculate, calculate this CN ratio? And you will find a plenty of calculation of CN ratio in different books. Uh, but, uh, but for farmer's point of view, uh, this equation should uh, should be as easy easier as, as much as possible. So here I can uh, I am creating one very small equation by which one farmer a, a farmer a, a farmer also uh, can identify uh, what what should be his uh, the carbon and nitrogen ratio ratio in his report. Suppose in a ten thousand liter tank uh, the ten total available nitrogen found one point five milligram per liter. Uh, so for 1.5 milligram per liter of tan in a 10 meter cube tank, the total gram of tan is 15 gram tan or total level of nitrogen. That is 0 0.0015 gram into 1000 liter. That is 15 gram of tan. So that means 15 gram of total level of nitrogen is available nitrogen is present in his pot, in his tank. And uh, suppose he want to maintain a 15, point, 15 is to 1 CN ratio uh, in his tank. So how much carbon he has to apply in his pot? That is 15 into 15. That is 225 gram of carbon he has to apply in his pot, in his tank. I mean, I'm sorry, in his tank. So if molasses having 50% requirement, 50% carbon requirement, so 225 gram into 2, that is 450 gram of molasses he has to apply in his tank. So it is a very common equation by which uh, by this calculation one one can easily identify how much molasses he has to put in his tank. He has to apply in his tank. So uh, now clock volume maintenance. Now another important thing is the clock volume maintenance. That uh, clock volume is generally maintained by the EMOF cone. That EMOF cone is nothing but a one is a one liter uh, cone shaped uh, jar. Generally, generally, it may be plastic jar or uh, uh, glass are also, but uh, glass are is more suitable. It is is also available from Borodil also, but it is a little, little cost uh, cost uh, cost here. Now uh, it's a one liter it's a one liter concept tank. Uh, the presence of flow can be determined by calibrated of cone. The of cone should be filled with one liter of water from the aeration point of the culture tank and keep it for twenty minutes in a suitable sand for sedimentation. So uh, my need you always. Uh, we have to collect the water from the aeration pond, and then uh, two things can happen. It is one is uh, high clock volume or low volume. Low clock volume. Actually, clock volume is desirable. Clock volume is always uh, should be uh, above above ten to twenty. Uh, some some uh, farmer are also uh, maintaining high clock volume in, in his tank also. But if tank, if clock volume is greater than uh, twenty, then we have to go for <coughs> if problems is greater than 20, then we have to drain uh, 5 to 10 percent of water from uh, from the tank. And if clock volume is and if if is very high in the culture tank water and suitably managed, managed by the minimal supplementary feeding of the bees or by drain out the water up to 10 uh, 10,000 or uh, 1,000 liter to control the frog density. And if volume is very less, that is less than five, we can apply FCO solution <coughs> at the rate of two liter per day. And what is FCO? FCO is nothing but a fermented carbon, uh, fermented carbon organ. 
so this fco solution is usually prepared by mixing 50 g of probiotic uh, uh, with 150 g of molasses in a 10 liter of water uh, we have to keep it uh, with the aeration for uh, 5 to 7 days and we um, uh, and during aeration uh, keep it keep it in a closed container having two holes in the lid one for aeration pipe and another for the air brushing Now, different kind of biofuel uh, tanks. The biofuel can be done anywhere, either in line pond or in an artificial water tank. An artificial water tank may be cemented, fiberglass, and tarpaulin tank. But from the economic point of view, the easy installation is to begin the biofuel feed culture with tarpaulin tank. The third one is the tarpaulin tank. Now, it may be you can found in different shapes also. The tank may be rectangular, hexagonal, but round type of tank is easier to operate. And it is also recommended because the dead point is very less in round type of water. So the tank size uh, for uh, tarpaulin tank, the tank size, tank height is uh, recommended to 1.2 meter and diameter will vary from 3 to 4 meter. So 3 meter is uh, 3 meter, 3 meter diameter tank with a capacity of 5,000 liter water and for a 4 meter di uh, diameter tank uh, with a capacity of 10,000 liter water. Now, biofilm tank accessories. Now, let me discuss about some biofilm tank accessories. And the first and most important thing is that the aeration system. For any biofilm system, uh, we have to put more, more emphasis on the aeration system. And uh, aeration system, the main thing is the air pump. <coughs> That is uh, air pump. Uh, in a biofuel system, intensive turbulent mixing is essential. But without intensive turbulent mixing, it is not possible in this biofuel culture. The solid must be suspended always in a water column. And without turbulent mixing, biofuel settle out in the suspension and may vary and may may form a pipes that rapidly consume nearby oxygen. This is the most common problem. <coughs> and an ideal air pump for 10,000 liter tank is seven. 5 to 90 LPM. LPM means liter per minute. Here I am uh, showing a uh, very common pump that is called piston pump. Actually, this piston pump is uh, useful for the small scale farmers. And uh, if anyone goes for large scale, then you have to choose either diaphragm or uh, ring blower uh, pump that is more costly. And for, uh, for 5000 liter tank, the LPM should be 50. Bathroom, regarding other biofilm accessory system, uh, one is uh, important is venture and aeration tea. The venture is uh, maybe used to increase the efficiency of the air mixing of the water. It is arranged immediately after the air attack. And aeration tea, aeration tea uh, may, may be available in nylon type, plastic type, and silicon type. But nylon type is the most common one, but silicon type is the most good one, but it is most possible. Now, aeration, uh, then air stone, you know what is the role of air station? The air stone. Uh, which is used in biofox biofox system should have more precious air pocket. The more fine bubble in this form and the more efficient it is to follow by formation. Then different kind of pipe pipe center is needed for biofox systems. It may be elbow shape, Y shape, T shape, square shape, and it also a gate valve. Now uh, the for tank preparation, the most important thing is the iron or GI mesh. Now, you know the iron mesh, the GI means galvanized iron. So the GI means is more strong and rust free, long life and durable. The recommended uh, gap of GI pipe is 7.5 centimeters square. Height of GI pipe is you know, all this GI is, is 1.2 meter. GI is generally used for making a frame. Now for tank preparation, uh, another two most important uh, uh, item is geomembrane seat and tarpaulin seat. The geomembrane seat, the seat is used to protect the tarpaulin from the iron wear mesh. That is geomembrane seat, the black one. It is generally, uh, it should be UV protected for long life. And this is the tarpaulin, the third one is the tar tarpaulin seat. It generally comes in the blue in color. Uh, different types of uh, tarpaulin seat uh, is available in the market. It may be uh, five, 550 or 660 GSM. GSM means gram per square meter. Now, tarpaulin tank setup. So today, we will, 
would have discussed uh, mainly on the tarpaulin tank setup. How 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 you do uh, set up a tarpaulin tank for um, for a small scale farmer. So first one is setting up the platform. <laughs> the, in the platform, you know that you, you can see the brick is jointly it is joined uh, by cement and sand mixer, and the bottom is made smooth with soft sand and soil. Now the second step, the setting up the water supply and drainage line. The setting up the water drainage and drainage, drainage, drainage line is the most important one. The central drainage is made to drain the water effectively and, and uh, digging setting and inclination is also made to easily drain the water. The central drainage opening made with an elbow and tank joint, as you can see. <laughs> All the um, other um, pipe, inlet pipe and aeration pipe is to be fixed properly. Now setting out GIMS that I've already told earlier, then setting up of tarpaulin and GMML6. Tarpaulin is arranged inside the tree, into the erected wall of GIMS in which central drainage opening guarded by sleep. This is the sleep. This is the sleep one. The GMML set is then arranged to protect the tarpaulin from the iron of mess. <coughs> now Setting up aeration system, the air pump is generally arranged a little above the tank. The air may be passed through the venture for better aeration before distribution outlet. And an air tube arranged systematically, and finally, the air passes through the air stone, which ensures vigorous bubbling and enhances the diesel oxygen level in the water. And this is the setting of a state house. The state may be permanent or temporary. Both. Now, the most important one that is the requirement of bioflock preparation. How we prepare this bioflock for bio <coughs> the material required for water preparation for bioflock? That some of the ingredients like salt, dolomite, and molasses are needed to make the bioflock prior to adding the probiotics in water. So these are salt, dolomite, molasses, and probiotics. The so first salt. <coughs> so the salt what is generally used for bioflock that is raw salt, not sodium chloride, it's a raw salt. For flock formation, we need raw salt that is un, of course it is sodium chloride, but it is unirodic without iodine. Iodine is salt are harmful to flock as it harms the bacterial proliferation and metabolism. So generally, five to ten kg of salt is recommended for ten thousand liter of, of water. And the application of salt is completely depend on the present TDS or uh, total layer of solid um, uh, level of this water. Now, use of dolomite in the bio. Dolomite is an anhydrous carbo uh, carbonate mineral compost of calcium magnesium carbonate. So, dolomite, the, the dose of dolomite is 1 kg <coughs> per 10,000 liter if pH is less than 7. Mind it, if pH is less than 7, then only we will apply dolomite at the rate of 1 kg per 10,000 liter. Now, molasses. The molasses is the chief source of carbon, as I told earlier which contains about 50% carbon. The molasses are used in biofuel during the water preparation as well as during the culture of adjustment of CN ratio. So molasses is used before the we were studying of this culture and throughout the culture. No, sorry, throughout the culture. And uh, last one is probiotics. The probiotics for water preparation, probiotic apply, apply mixing with molasses and doses of probiotic may be at the rate of 200 to 300 gram for preparation. So, so many commercial properties are available. Now, culture water preparation. Now, how we prepare the culture water for biofuel culture? So, here, so here first, <coughs> fill the tank with groundwater up to 0.8 meter, 0.8 meter for 10,000. I am talking about 10,000 liter tank. Then, mix raw salt at the rate of 1 kg per. Uh, 1000 liter of water uh, and for, it may be uh, 500 gram also at, actually it is completely depend on the present TDS or total, uh, total DS solid uh, level of this water then we have to keep, uh, wait for wait uh, for only one for whole day <laughs> keep it for keep aerator and keep tank for one day then after that apply 250 gram of probiotics with 500 gram molasses. Depending upon the probiotic spring, uh, the spring frog will prepare 
in the tank after one to two days. It may take five to ten days also. Then we have to go for stocking, pre stocking. Now, what is the <coughs> What is the criteria for this species selection in biofuel technology? So, which species we will select for biofuel technology? So, it should be resistant in it should be resistance in high density is the first criteria. Then, tolerance to intermediate level of nickel oxygen, setting solid in water and nitrogen compounds. Then, tolerant to poor water quality. Of course, it should have a fast growth and survival rate. Then, uh, then presence. Uh, then, it should be omnivorous. Inhabit a generally long digestive system, and the last one is acceptance to pelleted prey. So, generally, tilapia, <coughs> koi, then pangas, maud, shingi, uh, then prawn, uh, even uh, babda, tangara, these are generally uh, it's good pieces, uh, recommended pieces for biotech technology, biotech uh, culture. Now, what should be the stocking gains? Principle for different species. <coughs> now, uh, one thing is very one thing is very interesting that though the, all those species are recommended for biofuel technology, but it was shown, it was observed that only tilapia, koi, and pangas and prawn, these species prefer those biofuel as a food source. But whereas tangara, magur, singi, those species do not prefer this frog <coughs> as a good food source. So for that, so keeping this in mind, uh, we, we should be very concise uh, regarding stocking density. Okay. Uh, regarding stocking density for before uh, uh, starting culture. So here you can see that for tilapia and koi, the stocking site is model same, that is 1000 to 200. Uh, 1,000 to 2,000 numbers per kg. Yeah, and generally, um, uh, the farmers are using the term that uh, 1,000 line or 2,000 line. The line is nothing but the how much, uh, how many now, how many uh, fishes are coming within one kg. So, <laughs> 1,000 to 2,000 number per kg of fishes. If uh, it's like it's between 1,000 to 2,000, and then uh, up to 1,000 uh, number of fish we can stock in. Per 1,000 liter means <coughs> for 10,000 liter we can stock maximum 10,000 number of people. but it should not be 10,000. It always should be below 10,000. So if it 10,000, if it is 10,000 liter tank, then 8,000 number of maximum 8,000 number of pieces we should be stock. We, we should stock in the pot in the pot if the piece size is 1,000. <laughs> for koi, it's all also the same. For pangas, I don't know that pangas is very, uh, pangas increases very highly. The growth rate is very high. The so number of stocking density in case of pangas is very less, that is 200 to 300. <coughs> for uh, magura sengi, uh, the fish size should be less than 100. This will always definitely be less than 100. If it is uh, 800, uh, then it is very, very, it is very good. Then, and the stocking size should be just 500 in each, in every uh, 10,000 <coughs> And uh, one thing, uh, uh, one thing you should keep in mind that for culture period, for tilapia and koi, the culture period is generally 120 days to 130 days. And for tanger, for magura singing, <coughs> the culture period is almost six months. Now feeding in biofuel tank. Now how you feed the biofuel fishes? How you feed this <coughs> biofuel fishes in the tank? Now generally floating or supplementary feeding is preferable. And <coughs> generally floating and supplementary feeding is preferable. Shrinking feed maybe deteriorate the water quality, but in steam rearing shrinking feed, but in steam rearing shrinking feed are being used to the spray feeding method. I am talking about the prawn culture, <coughs> but feed with less protein percentage, that is 18 to 20 percent is preferred to manage the excessive tank, and thereby less molasses recommended during the culture period. So you always prefer uh, the feed which are having 
less protein percentage. According to the feed size, according to the feed size, feed size is also different. Feed is generally applied three to four times in a day. So here uh, is the the recommended feed size uh, as per the different feed line, as per the different uh, different feed size. If the if feed uh, line is uh, 300 to uh, 2000 to 3000, then feed size should be 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 millimeter. And as the feed grows, the feed size will also increase. When the feed when the feed line is uh, become below 50, then the feed size should be <coughs> 8 millimeter. <coughs> What I put it, you know, one thing I uh, forgot to tell you that, that there is a confusion, there is a uh, confusion between CN ratio and uh, this other. There is a confusion between CN ratio and this fog one. Actually, it is always recommended to maintain the CN ratio up to 10 to 20. And fog volume is always recommended to maintain between 10 to 20. This is also 10 to 20, but these two things is completely different. For piece like for piece like tilapia and koi, which prefer bioflock as a good food source, here I we can maintain the high frog volume that is below above 15. That is above 15. But pieces like tangra, magu, and stingy. The pieces which do not prefer frog, there we should maintain the frog volume below 10. So obviously, we have to maintain a low scene ratio for tangra, sea, and magu. And whereas we have to maintain a high scene ratio for tilapia, koi, and fungus, and prawn also. Because two things are completely different, but when we maintain high CN ratio, so after a few period, after, after some time, the frog volume will definitely increase. Now, what are quality check? <laughs> and one thing that I forgot to tell you that uh, growth checking is the, one of the most important things in biotechnology. Regular checking of these growth is essential to adjust the feed as well as you know <laughs> the well being of the taste. Now, water quality check. The water quality checking now, so many were so many um, uh, commercial kits are available in the market or uh, easily available in the market uh, for a good bioflock farmers. He has to <coughs> purchase all those things before starting a culture. The maintenance of a water quality parameter is an important aspect of management of bioflock farm. The water quality may be monitored through. It. Electrocanary uh, to, to by probe or by water analysis. The ideal water quality parameter in bioflock is farming is present. Okay, this is the ideal quality of a bioflock fish farm. The pH range is 7 to 7.8, 8.5, and ideal is 7.5. And dioxin is 6 to 8 ppm, and ideal is 7 ppm. And tan is always. Less than 3 dB. Ideal is 1.5. Ideal nitrate is 0 ppm and ideal nitrate is 10 ppm. <coughs> so, see, the dual oxygen and tan is inverse related. When dual oxygen increases, so obviously the tan will decrease, and when tan total level and nit nitrogen will increase, so obviously the dual oxygen will decrease. So, we have to be very concerned about this dual oxygen and tan. Every day we have to, if possible, then every day we have to <coughs> check the dual oxygen and tan of the pot. Then, <coughs> temperature. Ideal temperature for biofuel culture is 26 to 30, 32 degrees centigrade. No, sorry, uh, 28 to 30 degrees centigrade. Uh, actually, uh, all those probiotics, all the heterotopic probiotic, heterotopic bacteria um, goes beyond 22. 22 degrees centigrade. It is the ideal temperature for all these heterotopic bacteria. If temperature falls below 22 degrees centigrade, so maintaining those heterotopic bacteria is very difficult. Now, TDS, the total dissolved solid. 
the total d of solid should be which should maintain very high that is uh, at least up to uh, 1400 ppm if possible and the, maintain, the uh, maintaining this ppm or total d of solid uh, d of solid is can can be achieved by applying raw salt only only applying raw salt <coughs> actually uh, then alkalinity alkalinity should be uh, between 1 100 to 150 ppm and hardness should be less than 150 ppm now here are some suggested measure for water quality parameters now <coughs> uh, this is the most common thing now now we'll discuss elaborate about the uh, most common problem that the farmer are facing in the biofuel system the most common is acidic acidic ph so acidic ph is very very common problem so in case of acidic ph the most <coughs> recommend uh, uh, most recommended major measurement major is nothing but the application of dolomite at the rate of 5 to 10 ppm then alkaline ph then alkaline ph is a very is, is not a uh, normal phenomena but sometimes it may happen in case of alkaline ph we have to alkali we have to apply organic acid at the rate of uh, one and half liter in 1000 liter organic carbon means uh, means apple seed vinegar is available in the market then nitrite if nitrite is became above 5 ppm is <coughs> it is a rare chance there is a rare chance um, when nitrate will become above 5 ppm so then all you have to apply salt at the rate of 5 to 10 ppm for 1 ppm nitrate and we have to drain out up to 10 percent of water from the bottom it is the actually uh, always we will try to avoid the drain out of water from the Biflux system. We, because it is the last stage. We will always try to avoid this system. But when a situation is beyond control, then we will, of course, we will drain out some water. But draining out of water should not be 10% of water of the total frog volume or the total water at a time. We can, if, if, if it is required, then we can go for draining out of water for consequently one or two days or three days. But we will never drain out more than 10 percent of water at a time then nitrate if nitrate become above 40 ppm <coughs> then then again we have to drain out 250 liter of water daily from 10,000 liter tank till it is reduced less than 20 ppm until and unless we have to drain out water 250 liter daily from each 10,000 liter then if 10 is or total level nitrogen is uh, become above 3 ppm then we have to apply molasses to get the desired ratio now uh, that i told earlier that application of molasses is the most common and suitable thing because uh, so many other carbon sources are also available but the uh, molasses dissolve in water is very slowly that's why those heterotopic bacteria will get more time to utilize those that carbon sources. So that's why molasses and also molasses is very cheaply available. That's why molasses is always <coughs> recommended for uh, biofuel culture. And another is TDS. <coughs> that is total DO solid. If total TDS is become 600 ppm, then we have to apply 1 kg of raw salt at the rate of 10,000 in, in, in each 10,000 liter tank. Now, if TDH is uh, uh, become below 600 ppm, then it is very, very difficult to make all those uh, nutrients in suspended condition. Uh, so this is the uh, this is the most common problem that farmers are facing uh, in their biofuel system culture. And beside that, <laughs> let me tell about some uh, some disease aspect. Uh, it is not in the slide. Actually. Occurrence of disease in bioflock is very rare because it's a completely controlled and closed system. So occurrence of disease is completely due to the mismanagement. So one thing we have to keep in mind that we cannot put any kind of medicine directly into the tank. So if it is required, if it is required to treat our cases in case of any disease occurrence, 
we have to transfer those fishes into a hospital tank we have to maintain a hospital tank and we have to we have to bring those fishes into hospital tank and then only we can go for treatment because any kind of medicine it may be chemicals any kind especially any kind of antibiotic we can never apply into the bathtub tank because whenever we apply any kind of medicine directly it will hamper our flop or uh, our uh, uh, heterotopic count or heterotopic bacteria so, or <coughs> so that should be uh, keep in mind and um, uh, one thing is that and uh, one thing we can do that uh, the few farmers are uh, using that i have heard from a few farmers the people are using uh, leaf 52 then vitamin c then calcium uh, and they are incorporating those uh, those thing in their daily diet chart and these things can enhance the innate immune system of the fishes and rather than this thing um, one thing we can do that that we can uh, reuse those fishes uh, with potassium permanganate solution before liberation uh, into the uh, into the tank so this is the most common one by by this thing we can mitigate all those common problem in the biofilm system but if it is happen if any disease occur we have to transfer all those pieces into a hospital tank and then only we can we will go for treatment until and unless transfer into the hospital tank we will never apply any kind of medicine into the uh, into the biofilm water and now the question is which kind of medicine we can use in the biofilm system for antibiotic as you know that most of the antibiotic is banned at present but uh, some in, in some cases uh, if uh, in some in, in some cases we can apply for we can apply antibiotic also mainly oxidative cyclin um, in, a, in, in a close condition in a, in a uh, hospital tank and for yeah uh, fishes for cat fishes like mangoes and thing is oxidative cyclin is not uh, sufficient uh, for any uh, any kind of ulcer Uh, for Maguda Singhi. So for Maguda Singhi, along with oxidative cyclin, we can uh, incorporate this uh, enrofloxacin, mm, and then uh, we can treat those species. And we can, uh, and, but uh, always mind it that whenever we will apply any kind of antibiotic, it may be oxidative cyclin or uh, enrofloxacin, uh, we have to keep those species at least 15 days. Uh, to mitigate or to to, uh, to to eliminate all those antibiotic residue from those species before marketing. So this is the major. Uh, I am talking about. So this is the major problem that we that the farmer are generally facing during biotechnology culture. And there's the one major problem is that that is uh, is the biotech actually biotech is a very risky venture. Uh, if suppose the irrigation system is stopped. For 24 hours due to power cut off, so whole system will collapse. This is a major problem in bathtub system. So for a bathtub farmers, uh, for, for for before setting a bathtub tank, uh, we should always <coughs> arrange one emergency power supply. It may be inverter or generator. Otherwise, if it is happened, suppose a few days ago one uh, one uh, so one super cyclone <coughs> was happened. Yeah, just and so many farmers. In um, uh, in Purva Mednapur and uh, South Chibu's Paragona, they are facing the same problem. And they face the same problem because uh, due to power cut off, their whole system was collapsed. And they <clears throat> so that's all about the biofilm technology. Uh, this uh, today I have decided to, today I have tried to uh, put emphasis on the practical aspect of biofilm technology and what kind of problem the farmers are generally facing. Uh, day by day in the, in the, in their daily uh, in their daily culture system so as a uh, fisheries personality uh, as a as a fisheries expert and a fisheries personnel uh, it is our duty to mitigate their problem to uh, that's why i try to uh, put emphasis on this aspect so so that's all about my uh, lecture so i think uh, uh, it is open to all if if any uh, thank you sir thanks a lot for being with us uh, now if there are any queries or uh, questions or interaction we would want to do with our resource person please do uh, we have some time we have about uh, 13 minutes of time we want to interact with the resource person thank you sir uh, very nice presentation
I have one yeah. question, sir. Oh. So while uh, developing pipeline hemoglobin, is it necessary to add provide at each and every time? No, no. Actually, uh, each and every time it is not recommended. Direct. Actually, whenever we apply molasses, whenever we apply molasses, that time you have to apply probiotic. Okay. Whenever you apply molasses, that time that time you have to probiotic. And it is not recommended to um, uh, uh, apply probiotic directly into the pond. It is always recommended to maintaining the FCO solution that is uh, that I fermented. Uh, organic carbon, carbon that I told, told you. Uh, so first you maintain the FCO solution, and from there you uh, put uh, you put this um, solution into the pot. And if it is required, if it is required, then only you will uh, incorporate uh, those probiotic into the pot directly, and that should always with this uh, along with this molasses. Yes, sir. one scientist Avni Malik, uh, 99, he has given the protocol for development of inoculum. Same method can also be uh, used, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, there are so many methods is there. Actually, you know that technology was first developed by Yoram, but what Yoram told and what we are uh, following that is completely different. The farmers are day by day, they are different technology and farmers, some farmers are first incorporating fish and fresh water, then they are developing biofilm into the tank. And some farmers are developing biofilm, then they are incorporating into the tank. So you will find different methodology here. But anyhow, our motto is same, our motto, that is our intention is same, to maintain a proper CNRH, anyhow. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Very good presentation. Hello. What is ideal species in probiotics? Oh, ideal species? Yeah, probiotic that we are doing more. Which species is better? Just, just a minute. Pardon, pardon, please, sir. What is the ideal, ideal species for biotech technology? Ideal bacterial species for probiotic. Oh, ideal bacterial species. It may be lactobacillus, mainly sir, lactobacillus species, sir, like lactobacillus subtilis, and then, uh, sir, mainly, sir, hello, sir, hello, uh, I want to ask about uh, in, um, in uh, inoculum, while preparing inoculum, some farmers uh, some entrepreneurs are also suggesting for adding vitamin C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is your view about that? Inoculum means FCO solution. When they are preparing this FCO solution, and they are they are incorporating vitamin C in, uh, within this. Inoculum yeah. means yeah. bacteria. Yeah. Inoculum yeah. means that. Which During inoculum? During preparation of inoculum. Uh, no, 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 no. It is not recommended. Vitamin C we can incorporate with feed only. It is it is for people for, for enhance the innate immunity only. It is not for the bacterial purpose. It is it is for the feces only. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, another is Siba uh, has developed one Siba uh, flock. Hmm. Uh, that is, uh, what is the view about that? Means we can um, readily we can use that or. Uh, we have to prepare or any uh, uh, what is uh, it ma'am ma'am ma uh, whether it is b uh, it, 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 it may be siva clock but the composition is same it must be some bacillus uh, species maybe bacillus subclase or bacillus bacillus for uh, polymixa or bacillus megatridium like that only only bacillus species on the uh, so hello hello uh, they are telling it is a ready-made inoculum. Uh, ready-made inoculum. Hello. Uh, yeah. Ready-made ready inoculum is man. Ma ma ready-made is bacteria cannot be ready-made. It is in powder form. It is lifeless form in powder form. So whenever you will put into the water, it it will obviously it will multiply. Actually, ma'am, um, I don't know what is the meaning of ready-made. But the recommended um, uh, heterotrophic, but re recommended bacterial count is 1.5 billion. 1. Hello, 5 sir. 
हेलो हेलो सर मे आई सबमिट सर वंजा जयसिंह हियर फ्रॉम गुजरात नौसारी Yes. So actually, the what Madam is telling is regarding Siba flock. That is for brackish water bio flock, not for uh, fresh water. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank the you. The bacterial species are marine species. It uh -huh. won't be helpful for fresh water fishes. Okay, 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 okay. So I am asking how to use that one because while we are preparing in the film, different ingredients or different processes are there. When adding uh, first adding the jaggery or any carbon source, then urea at a particular uh, dose and the soil at the um, particular dose. But in Siba flock, they are asking uh, that we don't have to integrate all those uh, ingredients individually. No, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I, 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 actually, I don't have any idea of the Siba, Siba, you know, Kulam. But uh, I, uh, uh, anyhow, we have to apply carbon sales. Without probiotic, it is not possible. It may be, it may be the probiotic is very good, good in very good uh, in good preparation. But we have to apply, we have to apply all those things, all those carbon sales, carbon sources accordingly. Without carbon sources, probiotic cannot do, uh, do work, do work well. Yeah, yeah, it is happening already. The probiotic and carbon sources uh, all together. All together. Then it is okay, ma'am. Then it is okay. It is okay. Actually, I don't have any idea how she was in a collection. I, I never. I have heard this solution, but I am. I, I never uh, go through this. So what is? What is actually? actually hello, hello, uh, madam. Okay, sir. Hello, madam. Yes. Actually, this is a ready to use bioflock. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Please, just put it just put it in saline water and put aeration yeah, for uh, 12 know. hours then after you can use okay okay sir. hello hello sir i have a question yes uh, sir actually there are so many farmers they are coming uh, actually interested in bioflock technology in maharashtra and some of the uh, farmers they already started but mm. actually nobody is giving the economics of bioflock culture and some of the unit they have suddenly stopped so uh, actually do you have economic in this uh, particular yes uh, yes, uh, yes sir i have i have economics with, with that but i did not prepare any uh, slide on it uh, actually uh, it was if you, if you consider both this capital cost and cultural cost and you will gain uh, if you will gain but in past year but uh, suppose you will spend uh, for, um, how much uh, suppose you will spend 90000 rupees uh, then in the past year you will get more than uh, you will get 1 lakh rupees in first year in the first time you know, not first year after after 6 month you will get 1 lakh when 10000 you will profit in a first year, first crop and that is including we, we the capital it. cost that is included in the capital cost but after that crop okay. uh, excluding this capital cost uh, uh, it, it will be very high it more it, it is more about 40 to 50% uh, which species uh, actually they have they are culturing mainly mainly tilapia and uh, koi and also magur and singh in west bengal okay, the because, uh, in west bengal the most common species are tilapia bhiet koi koi means bhiet koi generally they are culturing bhiet koi uh, and magur singh in maharashtra no whatever means some farmers they have started they have closed because of so many problem and uh, un economic uh, this situation uh, in maharashtra oh uh, yeah yeah And uh, there are so many inquiries about this thing, economic. Uh, uh, kind of actually, uh, same, same in your, Gujarat. Uh, this thing, hard notes. Uh. Same cases in Gujarat. Actually, okay, sir. Okay, because uh, kindly give actually the economics in detail in your hard um, notes, whatever you are giving now after the program. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. I'll give you. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Sir. uh one question sir sir uh, can i ask regarding any disease hey uh, sure sure so actually we got some seed from uh, paku mm. then uh, it it were infected with uh, protozoan parasite mm -hmm. the seed uh, seed itself and the mm -hmm. parasite was uh, trichodina mm, can trichodina. you suggest me what treatments can be given before stocking trichodina uh, What is the seed size? What is the seed size? Seed size was hardly two inches. 
try cutting off. Actually, uh, regarding the, uh, any kind of disease is generally happen in biotechnology due to mismanagement. And uh, it is very no, difficult sir, to see. No, these, are, these are procured from a supplier and they were infected. And the seeds were dying in the biofloc tank itself before stocking. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, sir, uh, if you want to treat, then first you have to transfer it into the hospital tank. This is the first condition. That we did. First, uh, then you can, uh, first you have to first you have to transfer it into the um, uh, hospital tank, and then you can go you can you can go for formalin bath treatment and formalin bath treatment, and it, it is very you have to very conscious for uh, for this treatment. We formalin did formalin treatment. treatment. We did formalin that treatment. What then, also, then also we were not able to survive them. So, so actually, that is the that is the only the only the uh, medicine is recommended for any kind of protein parasite it disease. It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work because uh, the suppose uh, yeah, it was hysterious. Uh-huh. It was a uh, hysterious, and the life cycle. If we see. The cyst will not be affected that much. So, if the formalin treatment we give, the actual animal will not get destroyed, na? Okay, okay, sir. So, yeah. So, even if we give, we, if we give two, three treatments at a time, one by one yeah. consecutively, then also we were not able to get rid of the parasite. Yes, yes, sir. It's a real phenomenon. I, I think next time you have to more conscious about uh, purchasing of seed. Actually, this is the uh, that all this stuff. Maybe it's a uh, it's a unnatural one. But farmer, how he? So if next time he has to procure seed. Next time he has to procure seed from other sources. That thing he can do because if it is not cured by formalin treatment, then uh, I I don't know what can be happen. We have to increase the formalin dose. How much? How much uh, you suggest, sir? Actually, the dose is one seventy to two hundred two thousand fifty ppm. Or uh, 182, 182 to uh, 250 ppm for 60 minutes. I gave one is to 60,000 dose. Uh, for, for, for how long? For uh, how much time? One hour. One hour. Oh, it was good, sir. But I, uh, sir, whatever I have learned till till today, that is only the formal and it is the best method for <laughs> for for treating trichoderma. Yeah, because because that I don't have any idea. Because as a scientist, we know we know this is hysterious, but the farmers will not be knowing that, and without any symptoms, the fish will be dying. So even uh, from the supplier also, how he will check these things? Uh, it is very difficult. Uh, really, it's a major problem. So uh, same problem is facing in West Bengal also. The farmer is feeling that fish has been affected by fungus. But if, but when we are observing that that time we were suspecting that it is due to lymphocystis virus. Okay, okay, okay sir. One more question, sir. Oh, uh, sir. One more question, sir. Last question. Hmm. Sir, regarding fungi and fungaceous, most of the time we see the fungal infections. Mm-hmm. So for fungal infection, what uh, do you suggest, sir? <coughs> for fungal for fungal infection. Yes, sir. For fungal infection. Or before uh, one thing we can do, do we can do, uh, we can arrange it in a methylene blue solution. That is the most common one for biotechnology because we cannot um, uh, spend more money for the treatment purpose because Correct. the culture period is very less. And uh, within within uh, uh, for uh, uh, for within uh, one twenty to one thirty days, we have to uh, uh, make it in marketable size. So we can we cannot put more amount of uh, money for, for treatment purposes. Or this is, is usual. This is usual problem in singhi culture. Fungus uh, infection will be there. The fungal infection is very common in singhi culture. It's very so, singhi, common in singhi culture. But in, bi- but in biofloc system, sir, if you, if you see the science, science behind behind this biofloc technology, uh, the uh, infection of uh, chances of fungal infection uh, in biofloc technology is very less because there is a lots of heterotrophic bacteria is there. So when the heterotrophic bacterial population is very high, the chances of fungal uh, growth is very less. But there are cases here they get infection with fungal. So what <laughs> we have to suggest? So fungal infection we can suggest is a range with methane blue solution. Any oral fit treatment? Any oral fit treatment? Oral fit treatment? I don't have any idea. 
How about uh, Lukanas uh, sir? It's a effective. It's a effective, but it is a but infection. But treating we do yeah, that medicine in biotech technology culture, so it will take time. Then how, when you will uh, market it? When you will uh, send it to the market and when you will treat? When when we are facing problem, fishes will be dying. Then farmers will be always looking for solution. We have to we have to we have to we have to very conscious. We have to very conscious in every aspect. I, uh, that I told you, sir, is a very risky venture. Every day we have to conscious. Every day we have to measure the tan and or dial boxing. If tan and dial boxing these two two, two two thing we can maintain, then no, nothing will happen in our sector. Actually, we we will not be doing. But farmer will be approach to us asking, seeking for the solution. So that time we uh, whether they are uh, maintaining all the parameters or not, even after uh, maintaining those also if the infection is there, then we have to suggest something. Hey, obviously, sir. Obviously, sir. And that's why it is always recommended to uh, to reduce the stocking density. What is ideal? What is recommended stocking density? If anybody stock at least <coughs> less, few less from this recommended uh, thing, uh, recommended stocking density, then obviously the chances of disease very less. Will be very nice. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, hello, hello, sir. Huh? Hello. Uh, sir, what is the feasibility of culturing? Um, means uh, doing nursery rearing of calves in bioflex system. Uh, no, there is no feasibility, ma'am. There is no feasibility. Calf is not a recommended species for bioflex system because. So carp never use those by those frog as a feed. He never prefer. It, 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 it do not prefer any kind of carp. Some farmers are doing uh, minor carp in biofuel system, uh, culturing by minor carp in biofuel system, but it, it is also not recommended. <laughs> And Mabur, major, for magur, it is for magur it is possible, but for magur the uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> amount should be less than 10 so always should be 10 because magur also do not prefer to flop like uh, flop but the, it can resist in <coughs> bioflow condition as you know the bioflow condition is a uh, that i told that i told uh, in in, the, in my slide uh, what what will be the uh, criteria for <coughs> selection of species that is one thing that mag magur can register high density But that thing, it can also tolerate the poor odor quality. That's why magur are recommended. No, sir, magur is for nursery rearing in bioflow. Nursery, no, nursery is not recommended. Nursery is not recommended for bioflow technology. <coughs> Actually, the stocking size. If you see the stocking size of magur, that is very high. We can we can stock we can stock magur after a certain period of time. We cannot stock. Those uh, uh, juvenile fish, magudi, into the bathroom. Into the bathroom. Yeah. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. Um, I'm doing the nursery rearing of uh, magudi in bathroom. I, I know, I know, I know. Farmers are doing. I know farmers, but it's not recommended. I, I know, I know they are doing, but it is not recommended. <laughs> See the magudi. Uh, when if 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 what is the Ideal uh, stocking size of uh, of maguri. You see that uh, maguri is always recommended size is 800 to 1000, 800 to 10,000, 1000 number per kg. And and the uh, and that side of fish you can stock up to 500 numbers in 1000 liter. So obviously it is a larger fish. So. Uh, If if you stock large fish, then only then only then only you will get success. Otherwise, if you uh, if you stock uh, juvenile fish, the mortality will be very high. For now, okay. okay, sir. Farmer yeah. doing so many things. Good afternoon, sir. Hmm. Sir, uh, actually, that uh, protein content of the feed, uh, it must be always uh, less than. Uh, 20 right uh, irrespective yeah, yeah, yeah. of uh, any species or any uh, stage of the fish 
so yeah. sir actually uh, many place uh, i saw that people are using uh, more than even 30 35 because they are saying they are using uh, koi or magu so yeah. in that uh, if in this regard what type of problem uh, we can uh, get and one more question is uh, in your uh, study you have shown that uh, the acidic uh, what we must uh, use dolomite so yeah yeah uh, so uh, in dolomite uh, why why not other uh, lime or uh, other uh, other liming material why uh, dolomite so is there any uh, any specific reason for that actually dolomite is uh, dolomite is an anhydrous carbon carbonate mineral compost actually dolomite is uh, You can use other lime also, but you will get good result in dolomite also. Okay, that sir. is the main thing, main reason. Okay, and sir. Another thing, another thing is the protein regarding your protein content, and that is uh, actually if you if you use high protein content feed, so obviously high protein means high nitrogen. You should have you know that twenty five percent of uh, feed can only twenty uh, percent of twenty five percent feed can assimilate within the feed. And other seventy-five percent of it, uh, <coughs> which mixes into the environment. So obviously, the nitrogen content will be more into the environment. If you if you incorporate high amount of protein, uh, protein feed, then mean nitrogen content will be also high. And if nitrogen content will also high, then you have to apply more molasses. More molasses. So yeah. other than that, uh, I mean, adding more molasses. Other than that, is there any any problem? Uh, other than uh, adding more molasses, yeah, of course. Adding adding more molasses mean adding more molasses mean there is a every chance of increasing uh, increasing total nitrogen. So that means every day you have to check up every time it it it, it may be two or three times you have to check the nitrogen content the water. So <coughs> so accordingly you have to apply molasses. So you have to be more conscious. So um, uh, if you apply. More protein rich, uh, more protein rich feed. Then you have to be more conscious regarding your CNS. Yes. Yeah, so is is there any benefit uh, using more uh, protein content uh, in BioFlock system? Is there any benefit out of that? The fishes which do not yeah. prefer flock, there yeah. will get benefit. The fishes which do not prefer flock, there will get benefit. But fishes, the fishes which prefer both supplementary feed and flock. There is no benefit yeah. benefit of incorporation of high protein. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. Thank you. One more question. One more question, sir. Sir, please please finish it fast because I can't. Even in class, sir, Marco, we are taking the review the review the activity. Sir, I cannot hear you, sir. Please, sir. अगर इवन द बिलिंग कल्चर बागुरा सिंह ही यू आर रिकॉर्डिंग टू टीपर ऑफ द रिलीज बॉडी परसेंट मागुरा सिंह ही व्हाट व्हाट सर मागुरा सिंह कंटेंट ऑफ द फील व्हाट इज सीएम कंटेंट व्हाट इज सीएम रेशियो सीएम कंटेंट ऑफ द फील फॉर मागुरा कल्चर सर रियली सर आई कैन नॉट हियर यू आई आई डोंट नो सर प्लीज सर प्लीज सर वन मोर सेकंड सर मैसेज बॉक्स Yes, oh, CP content, yes, a good protein content. Okay, okay. So, yeah. good protein content. Feed for for mm -hmm. Magura Singh. So, for yeah. Magura Singh, huh, for thank you, sir. Now you can hear. For Magura Singh, you can use uh, good protein content that is above thirty percent. For only Magura Singh only, because they are even maintaining a very low CN ratio. That's for Magura Singh only. You can incorporate the pieces which are heavy. Good protein level more than thirty percent, but for the fishes like tilapia and koi carp, <coughs> there you have to incorporate the fishes which is you have to incorporate the feeded fish which are having protein content less than twenty percent. Sir, what about pabda? Ah, uh, that's the acidity. 
Uh, if there are no questions, uh, then we'll uh, consider the session to be over as we have gone already uh, 15 minutes over our time. Uh, sir, uh, uh, on behalf of the participants and on behalf of the organizing committee, uh, we extend our gratitude to you, sir, for being with us. It was uh, a pleasure having you with us and uh, especially the interaction, the confusions and the discussions we, uh, we tried to resolve. Uh, it was uh, great. Thank you, sir. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, everyone. Let's join back at 2.30. Thank you.